Hello, George Hepworth, Grover Park Consulting. We're building the Lander Trail Foundation, an online searchable database using Power Apps for the interface and SQL Server for the data. In this presentation, I'm going to continue our discussion of variables and how those variables can help us manage state across different screens. The one we're pr primarily concerned with in that regard is called GVAR publications. That is a global variable because it retains its value across the screens throughout the entire session. In addition to global and context variables, there's a third type of variable that I want to introduce today. I alluded to them briefly in the previous video. Today I want to take a closer look. These are the equivalent of enums in VBA. Let's look at an example in VBA. This is the Northwind developers version, the template we created for Microsoft. It illustrates two versions or two variations on this concept I'm describing here. First, we have global variables. A global variable is set once when the application opens and it retains its value throughout the life of that session. Employee ID for the internet sales function is 10. That means that instead of having the mysterious number 10 appear whenever we're talking about employee IDs for internet sales, we see the actual term of the constant internet sales employee ID and we know what we're looking at. Behind the scenes, of course, VBA recognizes that as 10. We also have public enums. Public enums are variables declared with an enum type. The difference between a public constant and a public enum is that the enum can contain with it one or more constant values. In this case, we can see the company type. The enum is called company type, and there are four different types of company in Northwind. The first is all companies, regardless of whether they're a customer, a shipper, a vendor, or Northwind itself. Customers only, shippers only, vendors only, or Northwind itself. Our enum then will allow us to do something like this, and we return the value one, which we can use to filter queries, for example. Both of these types of variables, public constants and public enums, can be created within the Power Apps environment using the formula. Let's go back and look at that now. Back in the Power Apps development environment, formulas are available under apps. This is the app level node of our development. If we select app, one of the options is formulas. I have created a number of formulas. Each of these will work like either a public constant or a public enum. The value I set at startup retain, is retained throughout the life of that session. That puts these values under the control of the developer, not the user. That's an important point I'll come back to later. It also means that only those values which I want to be constant can be set here. For example, the application title, the Lander Trail Foundation. Rather than risk typos when I want to refer to Lander Trail Foundation, I create a formula. IntelliSense will help me pick the right version, GVAR app title, when I refer to it, the text is pulled from that formula. And that makes it consistent throughout the entire application. The second example is the logo. Again, applogo.gvarapplogo refers to an image file. That image file being this one 
here. The third one is a number. I won't go into detail about it. I use it when I'm creating collections that contain more than the 2,000 delegation limit uh, of Power Apps. The main thing here is that we have a text, an image, and a number, all three created using the same syntax. The fourth example shows the enum type of variable. In this case, I'm defining the user, pulling the full username from the app information, and the user's email from the app information with a comma, delimiting, comma, delimiting the elements of this enum. You can see where those are used here and here. Other formulas were created for my publication defaults. Most of these are foreign keys. For example, the media type comes from the lookup table for media types. I default that to one, which is a book. Using the enum rather than the number one avoids this mysterious appearance of one in code and makes it clear that I'm looking for a media type and the default value that I want is book. The same is true for condition. Condition 5 refers to good. Publisher 60 is unknown. Shelf ID of 0 means that it's currently not located on a shelf. I can't really pick a default because I don't have any idea which shelf it will be on. So it's easier or more accurate to default it to no shelf. Most of the time, there will be one copy of a book. Sometimes there will be multiple copies, but for the great majority, one of one is the proper number, and that's what we default. Confidence level. I, I mentioned earlier that hard coding in NUMS means that this value is under the control of the developer, not the user. By setting it f to a default level of 90 in an enum, I am preventing the user from ever changing that. If you deploy an application in which variables like this need to be modified or set for different situations by users, it is not appropriate to put it here in an enum. In, in the comments, I'll place a link to the barcode scanning application, the video which I created to document that, in which I illustrate the use of a user-controlled default variable. This one is a formula. Pub count is a calculation. Each time we call it, it will reflect this current value. These are all hard-coded. This one, because it is a formula, will return different numbers at different times. We're going to look in this view, which does nothing but count the number of publications. It'll be a number like the 1929. And each time we call it, it will reflect the current number of publications in our database table. This is an enum for the color theme. I set the color for the background of screens, the fill or background of labels, uh, a light version. Notice that this is set to the same RGBA value with a 25% saturation instead of 100% saturation. So it's the same color in a lighter shade. Color, color fade. This is the four color on labels, and so on. The blob storage enum indicates where my images are stored. The default image that I'm going to use, if I don't have an image for a book, I will display this image instead. And the key to the per correct folder that bring, identifies LTF here. And I will use those constants when I need to retrieve an image. So that's it for the 
use of public enums and public constants that consolidates those values into a single location. If I want to change one of them, I don't have to search the entire application and find them and change them individually. The color scheme would be a great example of that. I might pick this color scheme for this application, a different color scheme for a different application, and I would only need to alter the enums, the formulas that carry the enums for color theme, rather than do find and change them throughout each label in the, in the entire application. The other advantage, of course, is, as I mentioned earlier, Lander Trail Foundation being hard, being coded into a constant means I don't have to worry about misspelling it wherever I want to refer to it here. With that, I think I'll wrap up today's session. Thank you very much for your time and attention. If you liked what you saw, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.